afternoon, honorable parents, visitors, and friends. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Yangon Adventist Seminary, I want to welcome you to 2018 graduation ceremony. This ceremony is designed to provide opportunity for the graduates to be honored and celebrate their milestone achievement with family and friends. Whether you have come from far or near, we are happy to see you. We are happy to see you here, and we are happy to be able to celebrate this joyous occasion. Welcome and thank you once again. May God richly bless you is my wish and prayer. Let's bow our heads and pray. <clears throat> our most gracious, loving Father in heaven, thank you for the education, achievement, and success of 47 students of Yango Adventist Seminary. Now we submit our 16 graduation exercise program in your hand. Please bless each and every one of who participate in this graduation exercise. Use them and give them to participate well. And we invite the presence of your Holy Spirit in the hearts of each and every one. So it is a blessing for each and every one of us. Please keep us, lead us, and guide us with your holy angel. I submit our life and our program in your hand. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
thank you, the graduating class, for the beautiful songs. At this time, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you the speaker of this hour. Our speaker for today is Reverend U Chotuya. He is one of our school board members as well. He is also a national director of Asian SS Leadership Programs, and he is also a chairman of Global Leadership Summit Yango. We are very privileged to have him this morning with us, this afternoon with us. So at this time, I would like to invite Reverend Chotuya to take over the time. So may I request all graduates to be to stand up, please. This message is especially for you, I believe. So could, could you bear with me for 10 minutes, please? Do you want a short message or do you want a long message? Short, why? Why? You, you might have some reason, right? Okay, not too long, not too short. Why? But one thing I really request to you is that when I try my best to give you something from the Lord, please, could you kindly pay all your attention to me only up to 10 or 15 minutes? Is it okay? This is the strength of YES. When I'm speaking to them in English, they can respond to me in a very quick manner. Such a wonder of God's hands. At the very first time, myself and my wife decided to send our kids. I'm not using the word up. Send our kids, our children, to, uh, to be the students of YES or whatever. But I would like to say here very clearly that we decided to send our children to be educated at YES. The people ask me, Pastor, why? Why are you sending them? No bridge between government education and YES education. But I said, wow, there's a wonderful bridge between YES and God. I really want them to be educated spiritually. I really want them or you to be make known to the Lord. Actually, today the theme is very clear. What is the theme? Please just look at me. Don't look at the screen, please. What is the theme? Excuse me? May I hear you, please? A little bit louder? Please remember that you are graduates, graduates to be, not graduate yet. You are still students of YES, believe it. What is the theme? To declare the mighty wonders. Wonders of what? Of God, right? Actually, you, you are the wonders of God. You're being educated by YES, and you become, your life becomes stars. Your life becomes wonders of God. When you look yourself into the mirror, mirror, and do you think that you're wonder of God? Or a wondering of God? But I can see you from the dispense, very different point of view. I can see you differently. You are the wonders of God. My dear children, here, today is such a wonderful day. I really offer my thanks to the Lord, as well as I really offer my thanks to, I would say, Adventist community. If I say YES, you know, my, my thanks only for YES. But what, and I say, I offer my thanks to the Lord, as well as my offer my thanks to why Adventist community invited me, giving me this time to give a very short message. Right, short message, right? You want it, right? Okay. In order, according to the scripture, it's very clear. Here, you have aim as well as you have 
motto. What is the motto? As a living testimony. How you can be a living testimony? How you can be a living testimony? Okay, let me read it for you. Very short message. Set scripture text from S chapter 1 verse 8. You better put it in your mind. Can you do it? Yeah, you're, you're going to be bigger and bigger, right? Okay. But S chapter 1 verse 8, it says, But you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness. The meaning of witness and testimony is the same. Okay? You witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, it means when God of the Creator God, who dwells in you, and you receive the power not to show up, but to serve his people, serve in the kingdom of God, serve the church, to, to be the witness of Jesus Christ. According to it begins in Jerusalem and then to Samaria and then to the end of the earth. Meaning wherever you are from YAS up to the end of the you know, earth. I don't know. My son trusts. He's now here, right? But I may not know, one day he would be a president of the United States of America. I don't know, right? I don't know. One day I met a young guy, right? I met a young guy. I asked him, what is your life ambition? He said, I want to be the general secretary of the UN, you know, uh, uh, UN, United Nations. I was so shocked. Yeah, he's such a young man. He said, I want to be... The General Secretary of United Nations School at the Magadwe Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Where's PP? Where's PP? My son always talking about PP and what? And Pitu, right? Ah. Who knows? PP is going to be a great man of God. Who's going? Who knows that? Excuse me? Pitu, right? Pitu is going to be a great musician. Who knows? But one thing is that, very clear, one thing is very clear that you need the power of the Holy Spirit that endures you, that empowers you to be the witness of Jesus. Without it, it's impossible. Do you think without God as human being can live I don't think so. I don't think so. You're here standing, looking at me, listen to me, because you're alive, my dear. So Jesus said, I, because I live, then you live. You're empowered by the Holy Spirit so that you can become the testimony of God. You can become with witness of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, starting from Jerusalem and then the whole Judea and Samaria and the end of the earth, it says. The, the, if we apply this Bible verse today, Jerusalem means the first place that you are. Wherever you are at now in your life, you can be the witness of Jesus Christ. You can be the wonders of God. Who would say amen? amen? Yeah, amen. And another second verse I will, I will give you, my dear. The S chapter 2 verse 11. First one is S chapter 1 verse 8. Second one, S chapter 2 verse 11. The Bible says that both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling our own tongues on the mighty works of God. Let me give you a very short, sh short, brief about especially second verse. On the day of Pentecost, I believe that you know this, right? Will you study a lot the Bible at YES? This is a strength of YES. This is my pleasure. That really, that really, I really treasure through YES education. The Bible very clearly, it says that. 
on the day of Pentecost, the disciples of Jesus Christ, they were praying and they are waiting for the descending of the Holy Spirit. So what are you waiting for? <clears throat> on that very particular moment, while they are praying and waiting for the promise to be fulfilled, whose promise? Jesus' promise. What, what he promised? Wait in Jerusalem for I send the Holy Spirit upon you. When the Holy Spirit sent upon them, they speak in many languages. Here is very clearly, as a Greek, they hear the wonders of God in what? In Greek. For Hebrews, they hear the wonders of God in what? In which language? Hebrews, like us. Do you think in, on those last 2,000 years plus, or 2,000 years ago, the English, English is a, a universal language, do you think? No, actually no. But nowadays I'm, I'm talking or I'm preaching in English to you, but you understand, right? It's amazing, right? It's really amazing. On those days, when the disciples were being filled with the Holy Spirit, they speak out the wonders of God, the mighty works of God. But you, for example, if, if you're Burmese, you hear the wonders of God in what? In Burmese. If you're Kayin, you hear the wonders of God in what? In Kayin. That's a beauty, right? That's a beauty, right? Amazing. They proclaim, they declare the mighty wonders of God. Before that, they are not being filled with the Holy Spirit. After being filled with the Holy Spirit, they speak out and being become a what? The living testimony of Jesus. So my dear, I give you the final verse. 1 John chapter 1 verse 1. Okay, 1 John chapter 1 verse 1. The first one is S chapter 1 verse 8. Second one is S chapter 2 verse 11. The third one is 1 John chapter 1 verse 1. 1, 1, 1. Okay, I'll read it for you. Listen very carefully. That which was the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched in our hands, by our hands, concerning the word of God, concerning the word of life. Here, disciple of Jesus Christ, they were talking about what? They have seen Jesus. They have heard what Jesus teach. They experience Jesus. Do you know that Jesus Christ is living God? Wow, can I see or not very clearly? Can I see or nodding very clearly? Do you know that Jesus Christ is the living God? Yes. yes. What is the strength of Adventists? Yeah, you're right. Jesus. Jesus. Look at this. They experience Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm looking... Especially towards them. Don't, please don't think that I have no care about you. Actually, I care all, all of you. They experience Jesus. They said very clearly. Jesus, according to scripture, the, the living word, they said. The word of life. They experience Jesus. The apostle John, he very clearly proclaimed that he has seen Jesus. He has heard what Jesus saying. Now, even he said, he touched Jesus. He experienced what? Jesus. When he experienced Jesus, he has something to say about Jesus. Is it clear, my dear? Yes, when you experience Jesus, when you know that Jesus is a living God, when you speak to him, he answered you, right? Is your answer prayer? Your prayer answered? Yes. How many times? 
How many times, PP? You pray, right? A lot, right? Because trust share about your spirituality. You pray a lot and hope that you are going to be a pastor one day. Or you have no, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Okay, whatever. But what you pray, right? You pray, right? I would like to ask you is your prayer answered? Countless times. Actually, you are standing here because of all your teachers and board members and all Adventist community and your parents behind you are what? Praying for you. Actually, you are the answers of our prayers. I experienced Jesus. You experience Jesus. We know that He's a living God. He answers our prayer. He helps us, especially for students, right? Before your examination, what would well, you know what you usually do? You pray a lot, right? During the examination, what do you do? You pray a lot, right? But especially this time, usually after your examination, you have to wait at least one or two months for what? Your exam result. But this time, only how many days? Just a week. Nine days? Seven days? Maybe just a week, right? And is there anything pounding here? Something inside here? But you know that, right? Your prayers are answered. Because you experience Jesus. Then you become what? Living testimony of Jesus. Actually, you are the wonders of Jesus. As you sing, right? The most glorious wonder is what? The creator become human being and save people, make all human being what? New creature. So my dear brothers and sisters here, please pray for them, please. Remember them in your prayer. Because it's just the beginning. Maybe end of beginning. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. So my dear brothers and sisters, especially children, let me finish my sharing. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you, natural man. Are you a superman or are you a natural man? So my, my friend, especially my mentor, he, he is a pastor of one of the prominent churches in Indonesia, he said, I don't, I don't like to be Superman or I don't like to be a superhero because they do not know how to wear the underwear because they are, they are wearing the underwear outside, he said. Right? When you see Superman, what do you see? Outside, right? <laughs> Here, my dear brothers, you natural man. Children, right? Are you a natural man and a natural woman? When the Lord fills you with the Holy Spirit, you become men of God, superman, men of God, women of God. And are you a self-centered or Christ-centered? You once we all are self-centered, right? But when we were filled with the Holy Spirit, when we experience Jesus, we become what? Christ-centered. And you usually speak of what? Worldly things. Facebook. And then what? Instagram. And then what? Twitter. And then? Oh my. So I have seen a simple, uh, a, a simple definition of homework that imprint on a t-shirt of a student. It says that homework is equal to what? Google plus copy plus paste is equal to what? Homework. <laughs> My dear, once we are self center, right? Because of Jesus, we become what? Christ center. We talk about the world once, but when we fill with the Holy Spirit, when we experience Jesus Christ, we become what? We are talking about 
Christ and his heaven. So my dear brothers and sisters, you cannot proclaim and declare the wonders of God without being filled with the Holy Spirit. Without being filled with the Holy Spirit, you cannot be the witness or testimony of Jesus because you would have never experienced Jesus. Jesus said, go into the world. And he continues what? Preach the gospel. And he still continues saying that what? Make all nations to be his disciples. But my dear, you are going to be sent soon. But at home, you, you usually, you know, complain to your parents, right? I want to go. I want to go out. I want to see my friends here and there, right? If I say go, what do you, what do you respond? But human being, yeah, you believe it or not, right? I believe that especially elderly people that you would agree with me. If I say human being is a reverse creature, right? When I say go, you don't go. When I say don't go, but what? You go. When I say preach the gospel, you don't preach. But when I say don't preach, what? So what I do I have to say now? Go or not go? You decide. <laughs> okay. Human being such a reverse creature. As a preacher, as a pastor, we always encouraging our people, saying that preach the gospel, preach the gospel. What? No one is preaching the gospel. So I try to change my strategy, saying that don't preach the gospel, better shut your mouth. Or keep your mouth shut. Or don't make even a noise. Right? Especially parents, you know, right? You ask your children. Learn her. Study her. What they do. Amazing. But I believe that you are being educated. You are being trained. You are being developed. Because... YAS gives all it has. I repeat, YAS gives all it has. It has given to you. We left nothing for us. We give all things for you. I don't know which one of you be going here and there. I don't know. Which career God has prepared for you? I don't know. Even when I pray for my son and daughter, I don't know. I do not know. What's your plan? I just pray, may they experience you. So that you will become a living witness of Jesus. Living testimony of Jesus. So, my dears, be a good, so be the best citizen of the kingdom. Be the best citizen of the nation. Be the best member of your church. Be the best member of your family. Be the best friend of your friends. Be the workers of your life career. Whenever you see yourself, please see is the wonders of God. See is as a living testimony of Jesus. May God bless you. Thank you. Be seated. Thank you. Our beloved parents, uh, honor guests, the board of trustee, uh, school administrator, faculty, fellow graduate friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all of you. Uh, first of all, we thank God for guiding us thus far. Uh, God is good all the time. Yeah. Uh, throughout the years of adolescence, when we are, uh, we are at our most, uh, <coughs> in the river state, uh, when we are still struggling to reconcile ourselves to the adult world, there are a few who stand by us and help through our movements of uncertainty. Uh, the, these people can anyone, a friend, a parent, a sibling, a pastor, and a teacher. Today is a special day. Today we uh, recognize the grace sacrifice that our uh, teachers um, make for us. 
And today we commemorate uh, those who have taken up the test of education at the guiding us through life itself. Today we honor our teacher, all of you who have in, uh, in, in one way or another play a part in the shaping of who, uh, who we are and who we are yet to be. To our parents and family members, you have invest, invested in us financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, in every way that one, one can pull themselves into another person. You have devoted yourself to us. You knew from the start that we would not be able to return in the same measure the love that you have for us, yet you, your compassion for us stay run deep. Suffering time, age, and round doing. We are grateful for letting us celebrate our graduation exercise. In this, the YCC Church, uh, we own much uh, gra gratitude to all who contributed to this program. And once again, thank you all so much. Okay, this is, this is the time for conference of certificates. So I would like to invite our pr principal, Mr. Uzo Liwa, to be conferred the certificate. Okay, for the first one, Yi Min Zhu. She was, she, she was born on June 14, 1998. Is, she, she is the daughter of Saul Edward and Doug Ken Paul. Her hobbies are listening music, playing violin, and traveling. Her ambition is to be a good teacher and air hostess. <laughs> Next, Blazing Paul. She was born on John 14, sorry, John, John 19, 1998. She is the daughter of Saul Mukopo and Nopi Pulin. Her hobbies are listening to music, traveling, and she wants to be a businesswoman. <laughs> Next, Carol Paul. She, she was born on September 13, 1999. She is the daughter of Sok Luce Po and Dono Epoa. Her hobbies are singing, taking selfies, traveling, spend time with friends, and her ambition is to become an active primary teacher. Next. Okay, Chan Po Ren, born on June 28, 1999. He is a son of Wu Chen Yinza and Do Tin Wei Wu. His hobbies are sleeping and physical exercise. His ambition is to become a best player. I don't know. <laughs> best player. Okay, next. Cherry Two. She was born September 21, 1997. She is a, a daughter of Wu Mountain and Do Tule. Her hobby is swing. Ambition is to be a businesswoman. 
next. David, David Tanner. He was born in June 17, 2000. He is the son of Wu Muting Aung and Dog King A3. Hobbies are cooking, making pastry, singing, washing, and anyways. His ambition is to be a chef. Next, Deborah Dane. She was born on May 29, 1999. She is the daughter of Wu Kelly Dane, our MYUM treasurer, and Dolala Singh. Her hobbies are playing musical instruments, reading, traveling, and watching cartoon movies. His, uh, her ambition is to travel around the world. <laughs> Next one, Ethan Hatu. Born on November 29, 1999. She is the daughter of Wu Tain Tu and Do and Abel. Her hobbies are petting, listening songs, and ambition is to be a teacher at a music school. <laughs> Next one. No A we no, no, too. He, she was born on September 30, 2000. She is the daughter of Saul Eklat and Tony Wee too. Her hobbies are reading and writing. Her ambition is to be a counselor. Yi <laughs> Nyeng Da, born on November 2, 1998. She is the daughter of Wu Pi Tain and Dr. Chu. Hobbies are cooking, eating, listening to music, and dancing. Ambition is to become a successful architect. <laughs> Next. And Sen Sen. Born on 27 February 2000. He is the son of Wu Nan Uda and Do Ni Hao Jing. Hobbies are playing piano, violins, and guitar. Playing tennis, table tennis, listening to music, swearing, reading novels and manga, manga, watching animes and singing. Ambition is to become one of the brightest stars. <laughs> Eric, Erica, born on 22 February 2000. She is the daughter of Umu Chotun and Do Susi Knight. Hobbies are reading and stalking JP. JP, Justin Bieber, right? Ambition is to become the best version of myself. <laughs> no, Gloria Paul. She was born on October 23, 2000. She is the daughter of Song Mu Kupo and Do Pi Lin. Hobbies are singing, acting, listening music, traveling, cooking, painting, eating, watching horror movie. <laughs> Ambition is a singer, actress, food blogger, and makeup artist. Ni Yi Kai. Born on January 10, 2000. She is the daughter of Wu Kai Lin and Tomu Mu A. Hobbies are readings and swimming. Ambition is to accomplish life's goal. Ja Mai Lu. Ja Mai Lu. Born on this month 12, 1999. She is the daughter of Wu Po Tapano and Do Nam Bao. Hobbies are listening music, reading books, and going out with friends. Ambition is to become a cake designer. <laughs> Jason Marcus Lian. Born on July 22, 1998. He is a son of Wu Jo Li Lian Jin and Do Su Liang Lan. Hobbies are listening music, using computer, Dancing and singing. 
ambition is to become a teacher and to um, become a business man. Jamai Mai. She was born on November 7, 1999. She is the daughter of Wu Hui La and the Blue Miwa. Hobbies are swimming and reading. Ambition is uh, she wants to travel around the world. <laughs> Julia Wu. Born on July 6, 2000. She is the daughter of Uzia Wu and No Takupo. Hobby is reading. Ambition is to become the best tourist guide. Next, next, Kautaku. He was born on February 7, 2000. He is the son of Ujo Su Wu and Dotin Za Wu. Hobbies are dancing, drawing, cooking, and singing. Ambition is to become a professional of, professionals of IT. Kao Min Ken. He was born on 13 January 2000. He is the son of Wu Chun Chun Win and Dot Julie Day. Hobbies are playing games and cooking. Ambition is to become a billionaire. Kai Di Lia Zhou. She was born on June 8, 1998. Hobbies are swimming and traveling. Ambition is to become a famous designer. Can come with it. Born on February 22, 1996. She is the daughter of Wu Awin Pei and the Piti Ta. Hobbies are motor, motor photo and traveling. Ambition is a mission worker. Came on too. He was born on February 20, 1999. The son of Wu Kima Wu and Tokin Di Dalwin. Hobbies are eating and boxing. <laughs> Ambition is a uh, civil engineer. He <laughs> Ning she was born on November 15, 1999. She is the daughter of Wu Ye Tung Cho and Tom Yat Tanda. Hobbies are watching television, sleep, sleeping, and reading. Her ambition is to be an air hostess and businesswoman. Lin Tan Tong Yan. He was born on October 6, 1999. He is the son of Wu Pran Lee and Do Kitty Kole. Hobbies are cycling and surf, surf, surfing the net. Ambition is to be, to be a successful entrepreneur. <laughs> Mi Bernie Wayne. She was born on February 25, 1999. She is the daughter of Wu Ni Wayne and Do Hanat Mi Chu. Her hobbies are drawing, playing computer games, and playing DJ. And she went to be a billionaire. Mala, Mala Lai. She was born on October 25, 1999. She is the daughter of Usu So Lai and Tom Mukopo. Hobbies are swimming and reading, and patient is civil engineer. Sam uh, Tiamma. He was born on March 21, 1999. He is, he is the son of Pastor Ukeli Pilian, our MYUM secretary, and Do Jing Yagman. Hobbies are playing games, watching television, reading comics, and 
comments and general knowledge. Ambition is to become a pastor. Yan <laughs> Tomna. Sorry. She was born out of her 15, 1999. She is the son of Wu Tong and Do Xian Hong. Daughter, sorry. <laughs> she is the daughter of Wu Tong Xian Pao and Do Xian Hong. Hobbies are singing, play music. Ambition is to become a great musician. <clears throat> oh, Macho. She was born on 21 March 1999. She is uh, the daughter of Uzo Win and Do Annie too. Hobbies are playing guitar and playing football. Ambition is to be a business, businesswoman. <laughs> no Ewa, Po Ewa. She was born on 18 May 1998. She is the daughter of U Etakle and Donori. Hobbies are, hobby is take care of six people. Ambition is to become a good doctor. <laughs> Columbus Brown. He was born on January 1, 1999. He is the son of U Claudius Brown, our education director, and Dr. Krista Berge. Hobbies are writing, playing keyboard, and mouse. Ambition is to be a man of success. Richem <laughs> Yanula. She was born on October 7, 1999. She is the, son, the daughter of Umu Lad and Do La Myutu. Hobbies are playing piano and singing. Ambition is to be a famous pianist and a makeup artist. <laughs> Next. Ruth Shinura Dean. She was born on March 10, 1999. She is the son of Utun Lin. The daughter of Utulin and Do Secha Naito. Hobbies are watching anim animes, reading, gaming, traveling, drawing, listening to music, and singing. Ambition is to become a talented or skilled singer or, or composer. <laughs> she moved Paul. She was born on October 12, 1997. She is the daughter of Ulo Benchit and Doru Zeta. Hobbies are traveling and listening to music. Ambition is to become a successful businesswoman. <laughs> Shun La Wen -e. She was born on April 7, 1999. She is the daughter of Ujo Mao King and Dolem Yatu. Hobbies are reading books, Painting, dancing, volunteer, tra traveling, and sports. Ambition is to be a successful businesswoman to create a makeup brand. Oh. <laughs> Susan Yamina. She was born on October 11, 1999. She is the daughter of Urone and Do Dolly. Hobbies is playing music. Ambition is to be a businesswoman. <laughs> the read the same shame. She was born on October 4, August 4, 2000. She is the daughter of Uye Win and Do Omar. -a. Hobby is swimming. Ambition is to become a headmistress. <laughs> Tres Carlos Wesley. He was born on March 9, 
นั่นนั่นที่ไหนโอ้แอนดิสอิสฮิสเกจิวิชั่นแอนดิสเบดีอัลโซฮิสเบดีเอสเวอร์วีไอวิชสเตรสฮัฟวีเบดีแอนฮ
Another one is King Ying Chen Zhou. Okay, next one, No Airway 2. Okay. We are proud of them. There are eight distinction students for this school year, 2017 and 2018. Thank you, Pastor Kelly Thing, for giving the distinction award. The last item, but not the least, Yangon Adventist Seminary, Seminary also would like to honor some students who have studied at YAS for 13 years from KG to grade 12. This is called the Loyalty Award. We have the chance to honor two students for this year. Now, it's my pleasure to request Pastor Kelly P. Lian, our Myanmar Union Secretary, to give the Loyalty Award. The first one is No Julia Wu. The second one is Kain Deliaso. Thank you so much, Pastor Kelly Pillian, for giving the loyalty award. At this time, I would like to Pray for the graduate candidate and also pray for them. Please stand up. And all of us bow our head for prayer. Our most gracious, loving Father, we thank to thee for today, this afternoon of our 2018 graduation exercise. We praise you for many years. Uh, you have blessed the students at this time. They have finished uh, their 12th grade plus two, uh, and also now they are gra graduated. We thank you for every blessing and providence for your provider for them to finish this course. Stay continue for them as they are planning to study more to finish the degrees. Lord, today I would like to praise to thee for that individually they have their own ambitions. Bless them that they may be able to reach their goal as their aim, as their ambitious. Provide for them everything they needed, financially, health, and every blessings. Today, as they, are, they have aimed about to wonder of the wonders of God. Individually, the heart may be filled with the Holy Spirit that they may wonder of your greatness, your power, your mighty, and also they may witness to other people, those who do not know thee. And also bless them, Holy Spirit, constrain them, and as all, lead them guidance according to your way, as they heard the testimony and the as, uh, testimony that they had heard from our pastor, reverend, that they may be able to know, understand it very well, and practice in their practical way, practical life, 
that they may read the goal and they may witness for thee by the power of the Holy Spirit. As they are planning to study more, bless their parents also. Bless the parents that they have support them to reach this status and also bless their parents too that they may be able to stay, continue, support them, they may continue the study to finish more and more of the education. Especially bless individually of our student candidate. Bless all the thing they needed, especially they may be able to place God before their before then and that they may know that all the successes come from God, all the blessings is coming from God. So please bless all the students. They may dedicate their life wholly to, to your hand. Lord, I dedicate them into your hand. I place them into your hand. Please look down to them, lead them according to your way. Guide them to the pathway of righteousness. Let not Satan and his evil angel may not conquer them, but instead they may fail the Holy Spirit and conquer Satan, and they may marvel at the wonder of your greatness, and they may witness for thee throughout the whole world, that you may be your glorified, you may be glorified to the people, that you may come very soon. Thank you, Lord. All the blessing I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, before our presentation, much I would like to announce for the re- refreshment. General DC Pizalo Pian Sinai Kama, Editor Nana Miva Mata, General D. Anapaga Salima, Asada Pian Havi Bare, so Tiama Mubian Javi Venet, General Amataya Vido, General. Refreshment you like upon which I would know. So, in that down to Chimare. So, okay, a good thing, my general, Pian Masinda came out. Graduation student, the Nita Lose on Kate, a TV lady, the trip lady, Take Hario, to know, Pian Vido, Fisan Luchin. You are not who are surprised, Luke, you know, two season, general graduation day, so, down like the out, PP and Sansan. ตัวเนี่ยเนี่ยแพทย์ตัวอภูพามยามาเลยเราอาสาตอกตัวแท้มันพี่เนาะไอศครีมอ่ะเปลี่ยนแป้งโบทาพี่เนาะสรุปเซ